Hi right, guys, welcome back to part two of Ash of God's Redemption. We're gonna try to keep this one a little bit shorter than the last one. I know the last one was like three hours this time. Under some recommendations, we're gonna try to keep it around an hour, see if that works out. Why do I have like three different saves? Uh, this one. <laughs> God dang, I don't know. Confused. I do like the little skeleton man though. Those are one of the nicer things. All right. Prince Trigg's assignment and the curse. See, it gives me these options, but I don't... It's really hard to tell what the options are going to lead to. Because last time I was trying to follow that one peddler dude, and I did not ever find him. But I think I'm looking for my group now, which I know I went to the right. So this should lead me towards them. If I'm actually trying to run into my people, because I went up to the right and to the north from Albius. Stein squints and smiles. There's the Elvius Watchtower. I was on duty right there when the reaping began. It was until a couple of days later that the Germans came to fetch me and told me about the events in the town. I never thought I'd return so soon. You look at the tower and notice a rider silhouetted against it. By his stature, he's an Ents. This is their time after all. Looks like the abominations are keeping watch now, you say with a smirk. According to ancient manuscripts, mass warriors always appear during the reaping. The giant reaches for his weapon. An abomination, you say? That's no good. Let's trash the enemy, boys. And you book lovers, stay by the tower. Don't stick your neck out. While the Ents tries to escape, you ride slowly toward the tower. As soon as you dismount near the gate, you notice a small band of Ents skirting the town from the other side. Unlike the scout, they're horseless. They must have sent him out and then left when he didn't return. They haven't noticed you yet. Attack! You don't like the idea of smoking the Ensis out of the tower and you don't want to risk having to replace your horse or the Ensis get... Once the Ensis get further away from the tower, you slink after them. The abominations didn't notice you until they reached the edge of the wood. When they do, they turn around and attack you in silence. Mistake. You're gonna learn today, boys, not to attack me. Oh, I leveled up. Uh, I think I leveled up. How do I do the level up? Send help. I don't know. Oh god, wait, why am I 1v5 in them? What about my squad? Do I not have a squad? Because that seems kind of stupid, but whatever. Game's hard. I can almost reach. I feel like if I move up though, he's just gonna come up and punch me in the face. How far is his reach? Shouldn't be long enough, but every time I do that calculation, I always get whapped. Every time. Every gosh dang time. Watch this, he's gonna come up and whap me. Ah, oh, he didn't. Nice. But they're not really <laughs> close enough. I think I need to get better at abusing my, like, turns, because I get more turns than they should, I believe. So, by my reasoning, these two can't move anymore, but he hit me anyways. God dang it. Okay. Oh dang, it even hits over there. I didn't think it hit that far. Okay, sick. That helps. Okay, we gotta kill this dude next. Move a little bit farther back so I can't get like whapped or something. And then I'm gonna go all in on his booty once I get my cooldown off. I don't think he can reach me from here, but you never know. Okay, he's sort of... Yeah, you better run, bitch. Deaded. 
Okay, now I just gotta kill this dude. One view on me, bro. Don't hit too damn hard, though. Alright. Do I kill? I don't kill him here. If I attack him, he's gonna retaliate. So, the best thing to do would be get my circular blade up. And hopefully... Well, I have to attack him. Actually... Eleven damage. Does he retaliate though when I hit him? I, I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out the hard way. I have to get my energy back. If I don't, he's just gonna one-shot me. Yeah, we win. Suck my giant schlong. Yeah. Whoo. Maybe now I can have teammates. I'm tired of fighting everybody by myself. <laughs> After the skirmish, she returned to the tower and cleaned herself up with a simple spell. No need to reveal your talents yet. Eight comes back looking smart, indicating the Ents scout is as good as dead. You nod to the giant and mount your horse. It's time to continue your journey. Yeah, how many people did you kill compared to how many I killed? I just killed a whole squad by myself, homie. Okay, so the way I went was the dry riverbed. When I was traveling, and I went up through Dimsford, so that's what I'm gonna do here, because I'm supposed to be following. From what I think I'm supposed to be doing, I think I'm supposed to be following my original squad. But you never know. On the road, for, or taking a rest, you can't shake the words in the town hall from your mind. Follow the guiding one. Collect the seven parts of wisdom. Read them and be saved. You sit by the fire, pondering. The words true meaning and are they meant to guide or ensnare why would someone curse you when you make then make you a piece together a spell to break said curse what's the point what could it mean what could it possibly mean the world is changing people are rising up against the reapers an eerie bewitchment <laughs> an unknown sorcerer and the darkness keeps creeping dang it darkness get out of here you close your eyes, trying to remember everything you know about your previous reapings. Nothing makes any sense. It's as though different scent is in the air. Something mysterious is coming. There's also the hand. My hand? Probably my hand, from touching the rope. Hey, scribe, you sleeping? What shall we do when we catch up to Thorne? We won't be able to capture someone like Captain Bren with Brennan with our bare hands. I'm not looking to start a fight. I don't like this idea. Besides, they say drawing your sword against Thorn is a sure way to die. We'll think about it when we catch up to him. We'll be traveling to the nearest Menher, per your advice, and I'm not drawing my sword, not unless there's a good reason. Whatever the case, I'll try taking talking to Thorn for, first. The man isn't so simple. Will tree come down after we find his son? I'd love to know that myself. I'm guilty of the same thing that made his highness want to capture Captain Brennan. Had to kill a toll collector near a watchtower in self-defense. Well, at least I didn't borrow a prince. That's not the problem. If a ruler says something regrettable when enraged, he won't be taking you back. Even once he calms down, it does befit a man of stature to kill back on his word. It does not have a buffet of man of stature. Besides, Thorn made quite a blunder in Albius, so many guards dead. He may have slain quite a lot of them, but not as many as had fallen victim to their madness. Oh, madness. That's how it usually goes. You either die a war hero or stay alive long enough to get into trouble. Where's the equipment? Why is the blade in such poor shape and all? What blade? What are we talking about here? Is Thorn really that good? Captain Brennan is the legend of Odala. Who hasn't heard of Mad Thorn? Maybe the best swordsman in all of Burkana. A hero of the Jebanon War. A hero of the Northern Expedition. And the Battle of the Southern Isles. Though he's grown much older since his last escapade, battle experience is not easily forgotten. Wait a minute. Are you saying that Mad Thorn and Thorn Bear Brennan are the same person? What? And he's got a whole squad while we've got nothing? Quite a task his highness has given us. I don't think he'll be fighting back, sword or not. If it's Prince 
That's if Prince Ho is still alive, of course. I hope that's the case. Not only is Thorn an exceptional swordsman, he's taught his daughter the same skills. I've seen her with the sword a couple times. Girl swift as the wind, so it's better to talk to Thorn than to cross swords. Well, we still have to catch up to Thorn. You're right about that. The road's dangerous. I saw some footprints near the spring. A couple dozen cavalry went by there two, just two days ago. The boots are definitely not from Burkana. They've got a strange heel print. I've seen it too. Those are footprints of Ensis. The flowing menaz took their corpses to the Albius Watchtower, right? Should have looked at the boots sooner. Ensis are not, so what? Thorn and his men managed to hack them up, right? How are we any different? Hopper, the only thing is, don't just jump into battle, yeah? Your knack for tearing down towers won't help you here. Better to be safe. Don't want to upset the Cardinal, do we? Deal? boy. Alright, let's go. I'll go see if there's a- see if they left anything else behind. Who are you talking down to? I just killed the whole squad by myself, fool. It won't be a pleasant stroll then. I guess I'll take a look around too. My feet are already numb. You think hard about what you've learned. Thorn piques your interest, curiosity by the minute. Now there's just finding him. And learning how you managed to withstand that reaper. Listen, Hopper, I don't quite get you. What are you? Are you a healer or a wizard or whatchamacallit? A penman? Pen I even heard you're also a baron without residence, most likely, and you're not young. How do you get by? They don't pay you a dime, do they? I capture princesses, I capture princesses, Stein. When someone disappears, I'm the one to turn to. I may have no regular allowance, but should I find the prince, I'll have enough money to gorge myself. Should I fail, however, I'd best avoid said kingdom for the next decade or so, if I want to keep my head attached. Still, I've been lucky so far. Want me to cut you in? <laughs> no, sire, sirdi. Burkana's a bit short on princes. Besides, it's quite a long way between kingdoms, and my boots are worn through. I'd rather stay at Albiot's gate if I have ever return, that is. Alright, Apple Man. Yeah, I wonder if I'd still run into my group if I went the exact opposite way of where I started from. All the paths seem to lead the di same way, though, just different combats, probably. Because if you look up from the bottom left to up here, it leads to the same road. Leaving the lifeless Stanford village behind, you approach the men who are in Albius. The road and bridge are stained with blood, but the bodies have been taken away. On the other side of the bridge, near the men who are some fresh graves and a regiment of guards. One of the guard recognizes Ake and waves. Ake, is that really you? Going to Ursus, huh? Is it a special assignment, or are you just headed home? Ake leaps from his horse. Where I'm going shouldn't concern you, friend. Let's just say I'm escorting someone important, a scribe and mage licensed by the temple. The guard pushes back his helmet. Listen, could his importance maybe help us out? We have orders to bury the villagers' remains first. Remains and remove the abominable sign from the men herd. We've done the first, but the second, it doesn't come off. Obviously, you shouldn't touch it with your bare hands, but we've tried everything. Inspect the men herd. You give Ake a nod and dismount. Glancing at the graves, you approach the men herd. One grave is slightly older and smaller, the other looks fresh. The stink of decay hits you like a hammer. The reaper sign on the, reaper sign on the men herd seems to glow from within. The guard trails behind you. This is where we bury the villagers, parts of them. I should say, I have never seen anything like it. It's like they were hit by a rain of steel. We found the watchman assigned to the post, to this post in the other grave. The grave was here already when we arrived, and we had to exhume them to find out. The fellows lying there have barely been wounded, but their blood has been drained. I think Thorn Brennan buried them. Nobody else from Alvius traveled this way. He couldn't have killed them all, could he? Cause he went to the trouble of burying them. You shake your head. I haven't met Thorn, but it's the Ensis who drained the blood from the corpses. Some people called them abominations. Didn't you find their bodies? I guess not. They'd be hard to miss. Thorn must have run into them on the bridge. There's blood, but no bodies. He possibly tossed them into the Manaz. You inspect the Menher once more. 
mark like this won't come off no matter how hard you scrub it. It will glow however faintly until the reaping is over. It's stronger than a sign on the gate, the sacred stone. The guard throws up his arms. So what do we do? Prince Tree won't have this. He'll take this road back to... Ursus, seeing the job unfinished, is bound to get him all st steamed up. Then we'll have our asses in a sling. You cast another glance at the menhir and feel a strange tingling in your arm. You imagine yourself touching the menhir and the reaper sign, glowing ever so faintly, vanishing into the stone. You realize that you're not thinking straight. With great effort, you control yourself. Touch it. You walk right up to the menhir and touch the sign with your right hand, despite Ake's warning. There's a flash of blinding light and a powerful force knocks you down. It feels like you're only out for a few seconds, but judging by Ake's, Ake's swearing, maybe not. The big fellow ceases his stream of profanity and sighs heavily. You woke, woke up, huh? We don't... We knew you didn't sniff it, because you were still breathing. You slept for a whole day. Why in the blazes did you mess with the menherd? To make the guards happy, the sign disappeared all right, but we lost the entire day. And now Thorn is even farther away. With difficulty, you rise to your feet. Your arm is somehow less black. It... It was foolish of me, I agree, and the sign didn't disappear, it's just lying away. Let's hurry up, Ake. Otherwise, we'll never catch up to Thorn. In these oh, we got rid of our curse. Nice. Use some of your youthful daring, Sick. For which you've been nicknamed Mad Thorn. It seems, though, that your daughter has it aplenty. Alright. Yay, we're back to Thorn, I guess. Cannot let her die. I'd let her die in the first part. The only hope for a cure is the double minher. Oh, we only have one path this time. Haha, <laughs> you can't let your daughter die. Psych! Anyone who watched part one knows that <laughs> she died so fast. She's so squishy. You catch up with an overloaded peasant cart and strike up a conversation with the driver. His name is Bradham. And he's moving his family to his brother's farm. You realize his destination has been ravaged by the NCs. Glada warns the peasants of the possible danger. They don't believe her at first, but then reconsider and turn their cart around. Glada shows the, new the newborn and begs them to take it, but the head of the family is re reluctant. Maybe safer with us. We'll ride to the village. You leave the road and soon reach a village. You manage to find a home for the infant. On your way back, you don't see the peasant's cart. In the end, they didn't believe you. Oh, we took the... Okay, we dropped off the baby anyways, I guess. Cool. The road running through the mountain valley between the Albius Menher and the Jernan Tower, the border of the Jer Drana, and a way to get to the old Jebanin Road and the Burkhanan Road. The valley itself is wide and shallow and well-traveled year-round. Cool. So we're somewhere around here with our squad, our... So we're not super far behind if this is real time. During a short rest, Hoden stops step aside, speaking in a hushed tone. You've grown tired of their lack of discipline. It's time to know how you f they know how you feel. What are you whispering about? You're plotting something. Now of all times, I've had I have many questions for you two. And it's best you answer them now. Turn to stop. I figured he'll find out sooner or later. This is not your your clueless Krieger. We should tell the truth. It's long overdue. All right, here it goes. You see, Captain, the prince, young Prince Ho is headstrong. He has quarreled with his grandfather, the King of Drana. As a result, Prince Tree, that is, Prince Ho's father, sent him off to a young soldier's regiment. The King of Drana? Who's Prince Ho? Who's whose father? What are you blabbering about, damn you? I'm telling it as it is. No leaving anything out. They made Prince Jeho a young Albius warrior to get him some discipline and me his bodyguard. His name was changed to Hode, but mine stayed the same. I'm not so important, I guess. Captain, you said yourself that this was no time. This was it was time for serious talk. So we're telling you the truth. That was a bolt from the blue. I actually came to talk about discipline and the fact that Sop follows you all the time, ignoring orders. Turns out it's Dash. I should call you your highness. What do we do now, Hode? I mean, Prince Ho? 
squinting sarcastically. Let's drop the let's drop the title, shall we? I've been ho to you, and ho I shall remain. I prefer this name. No need to flaunt my princely status, save for this way. It won't make much of a difference. Won't make much of a difference. Do you have any idea what your family will do to us all if you die? And all of your companions will face the gallows, not just sop. It's not so easy to best me in combat. What do you suggest? I'm not going back to my grandfather, that's certain. Not until he apologizes. You won't drag me to the court by force, will you? That's a lot to take in. For now, Hode remains Hode. Everyone tries to stay alive. We'll tra we travel as planned. If anything changes, I'll let you know. A reminder that in keeping... Okay, so there's a ruined tavern this way. This way there's a village. Let's go to the village. I gotta get some more Strixes, boy. You're doing a lot of traveling. You look around, some landmarks are surprisingly familiar. You've been here with Krieger, you know, remember him mentioning a nearby grave. A battle site where a captain of the guard was buried. He was likely laid to rest with his weapons and captain's insignia. Tell your cap companions about the captain. Krieger nods and points in the direction of the burial as he remembers it. He adds, We might as well pay our respects to the great warrior. It's not far away. Far if you know the way. As Krieger leads you to an overgrown grave, you can't help thinking of how useful it would be you'd find the Strix buried with the hero. I'm not desiccating the burial. I'm not doing it. You recall everything you've heard about the Great Warrior. The story inspires your company. Great heroes have lived in the past. Some more, more must come in the future. Empowered by new hope, you resume your journey. Yeah, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't that guy. Alright, so we got the Burkana Row, which goes to Abandoned Smithy. Built from massive boulders, the smithy stands abandoned. The former owner was reportedly drowned in the nearby swamp. That sucks, dog. The old Vandal graveyard. Headstones described by Vandal runes are still visible. Where's the foul track at? I don't even see that road here. Well, I already didn't go to the ruin. I think we're going to go to the abandoned smithy. Damn, I should have took that Strix, probably. I'm running out of Strixes, but it just didn't feel right. Rounding the current quarter, you're greeted by the most absurd bandit ambush you've ever seen. Though armed, the thugs don't rush to attack you. They pace about as if they, as if trying to gather their courage. You know that the people before you aren't hardened bandits. They just start going down the path of crime. Should you kill them to prevent them from doing evil deeds, or should you spare them and not waste your time? Kill the screw-ups. Kill the freaking screw-ups. You don't have time to sort it out. It'd be easier to kill them all and you leave it at that. Yeah, you chose the wrong path of crime, my dudes. How can I take his ring? Because our deal is to not get her killed if possible. Does anybody have a level? No, okay. Alright, let's do this. Oh wow, these guys look like village people. <laughs> Y'all are in for a bad time, I think. Can I hit them from here? No, I cannot. They are so far away. I think I might let them come at me and use my cards. Why not? What's he do, by the way? Are you like a buff guy? Can you buff? Do 
Do any of you have buffs? I know you buff people, that's kind of cool, I guess. I, wonder, I think this lasts for probably a while, so I'm gonna use this. Start stacking that up. I don't see why not. I'm gonna wait for them to come to me anyways. Do I have any more cards I want to use? Alright, I guess we'll start moving people forward then. Can you reach me from there? Oh, I was about to say, this son of a... Even if I move him all the way over there, I won't be able to hit anybody. So I'm gonna move him here. And I'm gonna move... Alright. I'll be able to hit him next turn. You moved to the wrong spot, homie. I'm just letting you know. I should have done that. Oh, wait, that takes my health. Jesus, what the freak? That takes a lot of health. Gosh, everything he does costs him something. If he raises his energy, it takes health. If it raises his... Energy or health that takes energy? It's confusing. I thought you were supposed to be a magic dude. Use some magic. There we go. That's some magic. Take this. Humana, humana. Did that hurt me? I think it did. <laughs> All right. Well, first off, let's shoot this guy because he's an idiot. Let's put that out there. That guy's dumb. I don't know what he was doing, just running up here with 8 HP, but we'll teach him. Oh, he's gonna punch my daughter. Don't punch my daughter! God damn it. Okay, dude. Well, you're gonna learn not to do that. The only thing I gotta be careful of is if I hit him with the double attack, I take damage, dude. That sucks. Everything she does makes her take damage. We'll get up here so that one dude just can't flank around and punch her. And then I'll finish him next turn. Oh, crap! Oh, man, I forgot he pushes. Alright, it's alright. It's alright. We're good. Stab him back. Yeah, take that, punk. She does heal though when she kills people, so that's kind of nice, to be honest. It's actually really nice. Punch him too. Yeah. Alright, so now I heal. And then... Do I have a better heal? Or is that like my best heal? That's my best heal. Yeah. Uh... Hey, we did it. It's kind of cool that he increases his attack when he heals people, though. That's pretty nice. Stunned. Supposedly. Last time I stunned somebody, they just kept moving, but whatever. Maybe this time it'll actually stun. Damn, his attack sucks. What the f... Okay. Maybe this guy's not too good to have in the party, actually. 
I guess the loan ability is pretty neat, but other than that, <laughs> that's pretty shitty. <laughs> Why are we move? Oh, I did attack instead of shoot. I'm an idiot. Okay, nice. Good job, me. Wow. Ow. He's pretty tanky for an archer, though. Alright, I'm gonna test her healing ability here when she kills him. See what happens. I don't quite understand. Oh, what'd I do? Did I goof? Yeah, I think I goofed. Yeah, I did goof. Aha! I'm an idiot. Hmm. That was a mistake. Can you steal the life off him, maybe? Yeah, do that. Yeah, get that guy. Can't you only steal energy from people? Why are you even giving me the option? Oh, you made a mistake, dude. He's about to whap you so hard. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bad mistake. I don't know what made you think that was a good idea, but alright. You are dumb. You are so very dumb. Oh my goodness. Stop punching my archer, you dick. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, bitch. What's up? I'll have her run away. Because this dude is on a mission to kill her for some reason. I don't know how fast he moves, but shouldn't be able to move for like a whole turn, I don't think. This dude has been punching my archer since like day freaking one. Isn't he supposed to be stunned? What happened to that? Stay stunned, son. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh, wow, I fucking suck. Oh, what the fuck? It gets so hard once they get like 12 turns with the same people over and over again. I wonder if she's dead dead. Or if she's doing the same thing she did last time. Ah, god dang it. Yeah, I feel like there's no... There's not, like, much benefit to, um, like, trying to get your people away from them, because they just, like, move more than you and just keep hitting them anyways, which is really freaking annoying. Whack. God dang, I always get her killed because she takes so much damage. I mean, she heals if she kills people, but I have messed that up because I thought she was going to one-shot that dude. I thought she was going to hit him for extra because of his energy thing, but that did not happen. I think I got too many buffers in this party, too. I need more tanks. Because having these two, they're pretty useless, actually, and they're just taking turns from everybody else, which kind of sucks. I need put that one archer back in the party. Well, she leveled up, so she can't be dead dead, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Cannot let your daughter die. Psych. Oh, we have more chat options. Squad management. 
Minor injury. Okay, well, she's not dead then. That's good. already got that so now I should get focus increase your health now I'm good I don't know what he leveled up from just being a part of the team My other archer dude, he's got to replace you because you're about useless in this party, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna waste more Strixes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die from lack of Strixes. That's gonna happen, apparently, because I'm really bad. All right, let's see what we got, comment wise. What are we going to do, Your Highness? What are we going to do? Oh, stop with your highness. I'm hoed. As for what to do, that's your decision. You're the eldest of the squad, not to me. Uh, why did you choose Albius? My father made the choice. Do you think the crown prince, only, only son, just leaves the palace wherever he pleases? Albius is a quiet place, close to Joanna, and there's hope that nobody finds out. Could they have recognized you elsewhere? Yes, quite as it gets. You aren't the one who drew reapers to Albius, right? Come on, don't be angry. They say the reapers reaping covers all of Teranium in darkness. No other way. Was it said or written? You're a warrior, Thorn Brennan. Since when have you read old manuscripts? I'm not a big reader myself, but I'm certain that the last reaping happened about 700 years ago. I was obsessed with reading when I was young. I still remember some things. This is how I met Gleda's mother in Rast's shop. He was a trader in Oda back then. Oh, demons. My happy life began in Rast's shop. I just hope it doesn't end there. Did the Burgomaster know about you? He had a cage of Ursus messenger pigeons in the hall town hall. I didn't know him, but my father mentioned him once. You joined the regiment for a reason, too. Son of a whore. I had no mother myself, nor was she a whore. She died giving birth. My father raised me. So does it happen to kings too? I'm not talking about death. Yes, it's clear. You mean love. My grandfather was like that too. That's why my father was the only hair like me. These are hard to keep up with. To be honest with, the conversation just sounds kind of weird reading it. It's better to be a soldier of Albius Regiment. Until they throw you on someone else's blade. This is the heaviest burden to set upon royal shoulders. It's good if the king remembers it, Hode. I will remember, Thorn. Maybe that's why I'm here. Alright, sorry for bothering you. Sorry for bothering you? You have a daughter to save, a precious jewel. You better not tell her that. She won't care that you're a prince. Comparing her to a fine blade is another matter. That's right, a precious blade. Oh, he's got things for my daughter. Stop it. What are you muttering, Ramblin? Sadly, I'm not muttering anything. I'm repenting, repeating my grandmother's enchantments. What are those enchantments about? About healing, about leg weakness, about clear mind and sound memory, about fuzzy heads and forgetfulness, cowardice, weakness, bravery and strength. My mother, grandmother knew many, my, many spells.
It'd be great if it were easy to grasp. I don't know the right words to explain. You, can, you can't see it, but I see magic in different things. Like grass blowing in a powerful wind. It's like a web of smoke from different fires, viscous and thick. Are you a spider? What web? I can't see anything. Those who have the sight cannot, cannot only spot such a web, but also weave their own. Spinning a thread and braiding it it's a, to a secret purpose, woven and spun, the enchantment serves their special purpose, that's how it works. Did your grandmother teach you much? She taught me everything I knew. That's not, it's not enough to teach someone though. You must be like a stone. You spend a lifetime trying to learn how, but it's almost impossible. Are you talking about the gifts that only a few possess? Why didn't your grandmother protect herself when Ensis came to the village? She could have sung the right tune. She could have at least weakened their stance. She was very old, almost blind. She must not have seen them. Probably stayed at home until one of those Ensis killed her with a flying blade. Maybe just for fun. Yes, that's how it happens. There are times when great wisdom and experience in the face of a tiny, very sharp death fail in the sh face of them. Uh, so you need to weave the enchantments? It's done differently. You can sing, brew potions, dance like a mad dervish. You can dress the wounds with stones. Everyone does it differently. I'm a weaver, but some things I can do by snapping my fingers. <laughs> Let's not snap our fingers for no reason. You can snap your fingers as much as you want. You can, can't accidentally unsheath the sword, as my grandmother used to say. I asked her the same question. Your grandmother was wise, Ramlin. Did she have a hard life? My grandfather brought my grandmother here from Vandal Islands. She told me that when he died, she started building a house. She mixed clay with manure and straw. She dragged stones around. It's kept her from going mad. My grandmother used to say that even if you don't know where to go, just keep on moving. If you don't have a clear goal, you need to take the steps that don't lead you into the abyss. Neither taking the steps nor having the right goal saved her. For us, the abyss from the abyss, because the abyss came from above. Well, it'll be time to go soon. Maybe my enchantments will be useful to you. I don't know, maybe. You'll surely be useful, if you don't run into battle ahead of me, that is. The old Sop. Why so sad, Sop? Have you lost Commander Scepter? <laughs> With irritation. I hope I don't lose my head. Are you here to cheer me up or make me take the watch? The watch is already posted. You're not a woman to be comforted. That's for sure. The second master of personal royal bodyguards of Jorana. I'm nicknamed the Deadly Battle Sack for my leanness and lethness. Or lack thereof. Funny, huh? That's for sure. Oh. Yeah, slapping my head off. Yeah, me too. When Tree chose me from the best 200 warriors of Duran, and nobody would guess that I'd have to protect his son from the reaping. On top of ordinary threats, Hode agreed with his father's choice for a reason, too. Why did Hode like you? <sighs> he said that he didn't need a sink of fat. Shaking with the desire to please, he needed a helper, a fellow to ask for advice or to play tricks on. I'm a street child, and I guess the father fo uh, prince found my skills most useful. Sob, how old are you exactly? Not 18, I confess. Add five more, you're on the money. 23, just say 23. Hold, on the other hand, was honest about his age. I'm telling you, he'll be a f great warrior my age, well, if nothing happens. I don't know what poisoning yourself has anything to do with the conversation we just had. I hope that the gods will protect us from new misfortunes. Do you know what will cause the greatest misfortune if we don't keep Hod safe? Hod safe? Trig, Hod's father, the crown prince. I can't imagine what he's going to do to us. Everyone says, keeps saying that the old king is cruel. Just wait. They will remember him kindly. The king of Joranna is old. Say you, so you say the next ruler will be cruel and heavy-handed slaughter man? Why did Trig tell, let his son go to Albius? 
They're cut from the same cloth. They'll both have your guts for garters. Maybe that's how it should be with the throne. I can't think of many fellows more wise, dependable, and determined than Tree. Trust me on that, Thorn. I traveled all of Burkana and saw all the kings. Who are your parents, Sop? My parents are common folk. My father is a man of duty. Watched over the main tower drawer for five years ago. He was proud of me. My mother is a fair trader. Her father sailed trade ships from Baldar to Radana. You have a great family, Sop. Pride in your parents is misguided, Captain. Were I burn a bastard, that would change nothing. Take Hode, for example. You can sense royal blood, but he's an ordinary lad. Diamonds are more precious than gold, even before they're cut. They're indistinguishable from other stones found near the mouth of the river, but they're extraordinary. <sighs> sure, that's why his guards bear such responsibility. Alright, keep your chin up. Things will work out. Keeping my chin up. I hope I keep to keep my heads on my shoulders. That's how it goes. Tree isn't yet to be keep yet a king to be sure. But he's already grabbed a hold of everything. There's fear. But there's also something else he looked in my eyes like you now do now and said it. Don't let me down, Sop. Well, don't let him down then, Sop. I'm trying, Thorn. I also put my hope in you. And your daughter. I think that Hode likes her, even though he keeps his distance. Maybe all of this will keep the prince safe somehow, don't you think? I don't know, Sop. There's n nothing worse than guarding noblemen. No armor can save you from a well-fired arrow. No valor can save you from a rival army. There are worse things, Thorn. Dragging your daughter along. Haven't you noticed... All your companions all trying to protect her during battles? I don't think so. She keeps getting fucking murdered. There's your diamond and it's already been cut. <laughs> if they've been trying to protect her, we're not doing a great job. You weren't playing around with your beads back at the Albius Menher, were you, Vi? You've been holding a Strix. Who taught you this stuff? What's there to teach? Even every monastery teaches their monks about the reaping and the means of protection. So what's the reaping anyway? What makes you think the reaping is nigh? Someone told you or was it your own idea? Obviously it's the reaping. Those incies are the, were the first sign of trouble. Who else would be wearing those masks? Then there was the reaper's mark. Haven't seen the reaper himself, but I recognize his rune right away. The reaping is divine retribution, that's what everybody says, at least. Obviously, you say, seems like many have yet to realize what's happening, while the cruel temple service knew about it all along. Alright, how long will the reaping last? The temple servants usually don't know much, and when they do, they prefer silence. When does the dog stop eating? When it's full? Same with the reaping. Once it's sated with corpses, it begins to fade. Sated, you talk about it as if it's some sort of beast. Maybe it's got a maw or something. The men herds are basically the reaper's reaping's mouth. All the healing are like tree sap. The tree gets its nutrients from the soil, while it, men her soil is death and pain. This is converted into healing energy that helps others alleviate their pain. I learned everything about the sacred stones the time I tried to cure liquor. Not one temple servant said anything even remotely close to the hogwash you're spewing now. Are you sure that this stuff about the men hers isn't a kind of heresy? Not that heresy is heresy. It's just the temple isn't really fond of such talk among its servants. Not many draw that conclusion anyway. You have to dig some up some really old scrolls to learn anything about it, after all. Say you're right. Then what? It implies that for healing... For each person healed during the peacetime, there are hundreds if not thousands exterminated during the reaping. Isn't it too much? If the Minhurs are really like trees, where does all the sap go? There must be something else, but I didn't learn anything from the manuscripts. The high-ranking temple servants don't tell you anything. Just point their finger skyward and say that only the gods know. I don't like it one bit. What kind of retribution exterminates the guilty and the innocent alike? If that's supposed to be a shared kind of 
Share Blight, what kind of gods would wish death upon all your kin? Our kin? It's not the gods who wish for our demise. We call forth the Reapers in a plague with our misdeeds. Alright, I won't pester you any longer. It's alright. Of course, all the stuff in these the books is quite dreadful. They say the reaping is akin to a harsh winter. Every creature should hibernate, and all the grass should perish so that they can be rejuvenated in spring. Well, what if I am not a creature, but grass? Should I perish too? Doesn't seem like much of a concern. Just some fancy words from old temple, couple of old temple books. We aren't going down that easy. Alright, we're done with the dialogue for this chapter, I think. Yay! Alright. Give me some Strixes, boy! If I see another grave, I'm desecrating the heck out of it. I need Strixes now. <laughs> Gleda Brennan points out something lying on the road. You ride closer and discover two dead bodies. A man and a woman, and a live child no older than ten. The couple were probably killed by bandits, who didn't see it used for the child. Alright, we'll take the child to... With us, I guess. As you draw closer, the boy stops crying and looks at you. He's scared. You dismount and preside him to ride with you. The boy is silent for a while. Ah, oh, we lost Strixes because of that. Only two, though. We probably lost more going to the village. Dang, if we don't get a Strix within, like, the next two walks, we're screwed. It's over. I don't know what happens when we run out of Strixes, but it can't be good. Before long, you can run into an armed patrol. It's chasing bandits who are robbing travelers on the road. The guards bid you to stop what you do. When they see the boy, they draw their weapons. You're the very bandits we've been looking for, they say. Try to negotiate. You sheathe their sword and call the commander aside. A hundred gold coins. God dang it. Oh, what the f... Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're fucked then. <laughs> nice. As you approach the double her, Brett points at the stockade and cries, It's the NCs, they're storming the gate. You decide to strike the abominations from behind with your companion. Soon it becomes clear the stakes which made the NCs dismount will be in your way as well. You'll have to fight the NCs on foot. God dang it, dude. We are so screwed unless we get some strikes. It's like bad screwed. I might take her out for like a more tanky person. Might put Sop in there, to be honest. Nah, she's already leveled. She levels up super fast. Screw it. And she, like, straight up one shot. Shit. You might die here, but it'll be worth it.
Hmm, here's where it's about to get stupid. I guess you gotta take injuries in this game, cause I keep, I can't keep her alive to save my life. I could try somebody else, maybe switch her out with what's his face, but Jesus, I don't know how you keep all of them alive, cause there's just so many turns that these guys get, and they do so much damage. It's insane. And I just have so many, it feels like some of my people are just useless even though I know they're not. It just feels like they are. See you surviving this, homie. Uh, maybe with heal. No, he ain't got no armor. Ain't no way he survives this, actually. Or, no. Yeah, I'm gonna have to lose him too, which is unfortunate, but. But since you gotta go anyways, you might as well heal somebody, give them an extra attack damage. Because you gotta go anyways. Maybe that's why I'm looking at this kind of wrong. Maybe I've got to look at it more as these people have to take turns, so I just have to use them. I don't know. Difficult. Finally, my turn's reset. Or... Gosh dang it. Stop killing my people. Just gonna try to keep taking his energy. Maybe that'll help. 
Bro, he was stunned and he still gets a turn. That's crazy. Like, if everybody's dead, they get a turn regardless. Like, that's so insane to me. That feels so weird. Because I feel like if you've been stunned, you're stunned. You don't get that turn. Your turn gets skipped. But if they don't have a guy that can move, that stun doesn't mean anything at all. Which is weird to me. God damn it. Yeah. Fuck you. At least we got some Strixes, but damn, dude, I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. That, ah, uh, the battles are so hard in this game. <laughs> Lord almighty. What's happening now? The Polisite Gate does not open immediately. You feel that you're being watched. Finally, a squat man comes out to meet you. You recognize your old comrade, Vegan. Vegan. You fought in many campaigns together. Vegan hordes to you. Thorn. Thorn Brennan, by thunder and lightning, I never met, dreamt I'd see you here. That's so glad, friend. You can't even imagine. Get your companions inside before these abominations return. There will be another attack. Vegan draws you into his mighty embrace. His strength has not diminished since you two last met, but you managed to rest yourself free. Easy there, old bear. Tell me, what's going on in your stockade? Yeah, ask him. The chief watchman makes a helpless gesture. They distracted us, those sons of urchins. Some of them climbed over the palisade on the other side. Some took took some time to beat them back. Run back to the gate, then keep watch on what was left outside. Run back to the... Oh, I don't know. Some of the grammar in this is really rough. <laughs> God dang. You dismissed the remark. We manage by ourselves. It's not the first fray we with these abominations. Find out how Vegan knows more abominations are coming, because it's kind of obvious. Vegan lowers his voice. I was wondering about that myself. I, you see this old healer, Chila. She arrived at the stockade and started raving about it. I almost shoot her off, and that's when the abominations appeared. And then it happened again. From then on, I've listened to every word she said. You look around. She turned out to be a seer. I never predict... I never thought they were real. I'd like to talk to her. Perhaps she could be of some use. And the conversation returned to the men here. Vagan puts a hand on your shoulder. If I were you, I wouldn't be so rash. The plague hasn't passed us by. One woman used to touch them in there for every sneeze. She tried her luck already. She tried her luck with the stone, and that was the end with her. We found a mark on her neck, and as if she'd been choked by a flaming noose, everyone steers clear of the arch now. A wave of disappointment w washes over you. Damnation! It's Albius all over again. Did you see a monster with gray skin by any chance? The wa head watchman expression becomes grave. No, just the masked ones. Though, I wouldn't be surprised to see a monster, but I'm no harbor rat. Hiding at a dark corner. This is a good place for a breather. Please make yourself at home. When the ab abominations come, I'll give the signal. Will you aid an old comrade? Fuck no! <laughs> God, those things whoop my ass! You nod. <laughs> I will. We won't stay long, but we'll give an end, any abomination that comes near the gate a warm welcome. If any crawl through, we'll ca let you catch them. This is our, your home turf. In the meantime, we need to rest. Heal me. Alright, this is a good stopping place, but I'm going to try to heal real quick. Tell Vegan about the Strixes. I'm all, he's my buddy. The Strixes glistening from the vendor stall make you consider telling Vegan about their master prop, magic properties, but all of, after all, you still remember the time when you saved each other's lives. Yeah, I'm going to tell him. You share everything you know about the reaping with your old friend, and you tell him that the useful properties on usual gems possess. It seems like you get your point across. Vegan thinks it over. Thanks, old friend, but I'll pass. I don't have any extra money for gems. Or any chance to look for them. Since I'm not leaving the stockade, I believe you'll need them more than I will. Hey, at least he's a nice guy. Okay, I need Strixes out the booty. I should have a lot of gold because I'm using that stupid leather purse thing. Uh... Dang, they're so expensive though. Did they raise the price because they knew I was coming to buy stuff again? Dang, one plus attack is expensive, lord almighty, but I need all the strixes I can get.
Oh, I actually have quite a bit of gold. I'm gonna get this. Well, I'm glad we found a dang shop because we were out of streaks so that was getting dark, bro. All right, that's a good stopping part for the video. But uh, actually, let me read this. You're about to leave the market when you notice Hode. He's watching a wooden comb, looking wistful. Aren't the teeth a bit long for your locks, you ask? Hode tosses the comb back on the stall and lets out a disapproving snort. This isn't for me. I haven't visited Ursus in such a long time. There's a woman there. I want to buy her a gift, but it's so hard to choose. You frown. Well, what kind of woman is she? Come, come on, you're a prince. Hode looks at you in bewilderment. I'm talking about my old nurse. Her name's Tante. She's, she nurtured and raised me. She's always held her tongue. Good woman. What do you think I should get her? She's no dignitary, but she's already has everything she needs. You shrug. In that case, it doesn't matter what you get. It can be anything. A comb, a shawl, a brooch. If she cares about you, any gift will bring her joy. Pick whatever calls out to you. Alright, save. Where's the save? Does it save by itself? I don't know. I'm assuming it does. But, alright guys, thanks for watching as always. Um, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm just, <laughs> man, some of those battles were, that last battle boy is so hard. But I guess you kinda gotta like take the risk and just kinda know if you do battles. Maybe that's why you have so many party members is to swap them out when some of them get hurt. I don't know. But Strixes are hard to come by. Jesus, I was like at, what, three before the battle? Alright guys, bye! See you next time.